Okay, I'm going to talk about installing the MIDI upgrade for the Oberheim DX. So we start by opening the front cover, which is normally held in place with two screws. And then we need to remove three ICs from the main board. That would be these two uh, operating system EPROMs. And you can set these aside, and once the installation is finished, you can erase them and reuse them for sounds if you like. And then we want to also remove the Z80 microprocessor from the main board. And when you're using a little screwdriver like this to remove the chips, make sure that you get the screwdriver in between the socket and the part, not under the socket. So we want to install the new operating system EPROMs that come with the kit. They're labeled A and B. A version goes towards the back of the unit. And make sure you observe the polarity indicated by the little notch in the end of each chip. And then we want to remove two screws from the main board so we can mount the new MIDI board. Some DXs have a sync to tape board, a little skinny circuit board already mounted in this position, and that's okay. Um, the only thing is that you want to remove the tall standoff standoffs under the sync to tape board and replace them with the medium sized standoff shown here. so that it sets a little bit lower and then oh, um, we want to put the small standoffs on top of the sync to tape board and then we'll mount the MIDI board on top of the smaller standoffs. In this case, since there is no sync to tape board, we're just stacking the, the standoffs to make them taller. snug so they don't come loose. And here's the MIDI board and you want to make sure that you check the pins on this connector to make sure they're all straight and lined up and not bent over so that they'll go into the socket smoothly. And you want to align the pins with the socket carefully make sure it's not offset to the left or right and then just press the connector into the socket and then we'll use the original screws to mount the MIDI board to the standoffs and it helps to have a magnetic screwdriver it's a nice feature and you can magnetize your existing screwdriver if it's not already snug so the board won't come loose. Then we can plug in the MIDI connectors to the board. I've already mounted the walnut panels uh, at, at this point. Hold the erase button while we turn on the power and that reinitializes the memory. And then you can attach these stickers that come with the kit. The big sticker indicates all the new edit functions re related to MIDI and synchronization and other features. And then there's two smaller stickers. One is used to indicate alternate functions for the uh, dumping patches over MIDI, or not patches, but for dumping sequences over MIDI. You can dump one or dump all. And this is all covered in the new manual. And then there's a new 
label for the cassette functions and that label goes right over the old labeling for the cassette functions on the four control buttons on the right. And once you get that in place, it's, uh, it's all ready to go. Just reattach any front screws and there you go.